Welcome back to Mosaic. We could not go without mentioning Valentine's Day. And so our producer, Hugh Burrows, is here to say a few words about Valentine's. Great to have Thank you here. Thank you, Ron. Uh -huh. Superb interview. It's, it's, it's so good to have Paul Cobb back uh, great. And, and what he brings. Mm -hmm. uh, I have to read these things because I can't memorize them anymore. <laughs> so uh, four or five poems here to get you in the, in the spirit for this day of Valentine. First from the Song of Solomon in the Bible. It's mm. a female voice. I am black and comely, O oh my brother. I hear my beloved. See how he comes leaping on the mountains, bounding over the hills. My beloved is like a gazelle like a young stag he stands behind the lattice of the walls mm. whispers come then my love my lovely come my beloved is mine and I am his he said to me set it like a seal on your heart for love is strong as death mm. a flame of the Lord himself <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Skip to the 16th century. George Herbert. Uh, I'm taking snippets here, of course. Love bade me welcome, yet my soul drew back, guilty of dust and sin. But quick-eyed love, observing me grow slack, drew nearer to me, sweetly questioning if I lacked anything. Mm. The nature. Uh, we couldn't do anything without Andrew Marvel and to his coy mistress, just to add a little spice to the day. Had we but world enough and time, this coyness lady were no crime. We would sit and think which way to walk and pass our long love's day, and my vegetable love would grow. But at my back I always hear time's winged chariot hurrying near. The grave's a fine and private place, but none, I think, do their embrace. Let us roll our strength in all. Thus, though we cannot make our sun stand still, yet we will make it run. <laughs> Evgeny Yevtushenko is a Russian poet, still, still alive, though in his 70s or 80s now. When your face appeared over my crumpled life, at first I understood only the poverty of what I have. Then its particular light on woods, on rivers, on the sea became my beginning. I am so frightened of the unexpected sunrise finishing. I don't fight it. My love is this fear. I am conscious that these minutes are short and that the colors will vanish when your face sets. Wonderful, wonderful. There's another one that you may know here. It's a sh love hurts, love scars, mm. love wounds. Love Mars. I really learned a lot. Really learned a lot. Love is like a stove. Burns you when it's hot. Love hurts. Who's that? Love hurts. Roy Orbison. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the modern. Okay. We have time for one more here? One more. We got it in. Shakespeare. Okay. Sonnet 91. Some glory in their birth, some in their skill, some in their wealth, some in their body's force, some in their garments, though newfangled ill, some in their hawks and hounds, some in their horse. But these particulars are not my measure. All these I, in one general best. Thy love is better than high birth to me, richer than wealth, prouder than garments cost, of more delights than hawks and horses be. And having thee of all men's pride, I boast, wretched in this alone, that thou mayest take all this from me and me most wretched make. <laughs> Valentine's Day. Amen. Ezra read the scripture, and after that, the people said, Amen, Amen. <laughs> so it is. Great. Superb. <laughs> Thank you, Ron. Yeah, it was wonderful. Thank you for joining us.